Let's recreate these wasteland style titles from the new Furiosa trailer. We're gonna learn how to put textures inside of text and then composite a couple layers together to create this effect. So this will be really beginner friendly. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is bring in a background node. If you wanted to create these titles on a transparent background, this is where you would just change the alpha to zero. So basically to start putting textures inside of text, we just need to have three things. We need to have some sort of image or texture. We need to have some text to be the mask for that texture. So I'm going to bring in a text node and then we need a merge. Our image or video is going to go into the foreground of our merge and then our text is going to go into the mask. Let's create our text here. So Furiosa titles. Let's use agency. This is the font that they used for the titles. Make it a lot bigger. Bring it together a bit. And so this merge node is where you would move around your texture and you could resize it and you could change the blend modes, whatever you need. Let's bring in this screenshot from the actual trailer so we can kind of look at what we're recreating here. I think the first thing we should do is get our base color layer. So let's bring in a background node and this will be our base color. Click on our color and we'll pick this color from the screenshot, this kind of yellow as our base. And we'll just reposition this, there we go. And now let's just fix this text so it looks a little bit more similar. One thing that we can do, it looks like that's as bold as we can get it, but this still looks a little bit thicker. So what we can do is go to the shading and we'll add an outline to it. And here we can select the join style that's a little bit sharper. And we can make this a little bit thicker. Okay, that looks good. These are all free assets from Pixabay and I'll put the links in the description so you can follow along with these. And so the first thing let's add in is these cracks. It looks like cracked ground. So I found this texture here and that looks kind of cool. So we'll merge this in and we will copy our text mask over. Great, and now we've got this cracked earth on here. So now if we click on the merge node, we can sort of reposition it. Let's change the blend mode of this. Okay, so we're just experimenting with some of these blend modes. I like this hard light. And if we look, we're keeping our basic original color, but we're getting some nice kind of texture along with these cracks. So let's keep this one. I like hard light and we just blend it a little bit. Okay, let's grab our three nodes and we'll copy and paste. And now holding down shift, we're gonna drop these back in and let's add another texture. So the next thing that we need, we'll just look at our reference. The next thing, let's go for these splatter, dirt splatter, blood splatter, whatever these are. So I've got this texture here. Again, let's click on the merge node and we'll just go back to normal blend mode for now. And let's just move this around. And I think let's size it up a little bit. All right, let's try darken. All right, so these splatters look like they're dark red. So let's grab a color correct node and just put that in, in here. And let's make these more red colored. Let's play with the lift and gamma a little bit. That looks pretty cool. Let's copy and paste these nodes and move them over. Again, holding shift, we can drop it back in here. Okay, so now we're gonna add in this dirt splatter layer. And you know what, for this one, let's actually give this a little bit of texture. So I'm gonna grab the fast noise and let's put that right in between here. With the fast noise, you can actually change some of the colors. So let's give it a bit of red and a little bit of black. And we'll increase the contrast a little bit. Let's drop the scale down. There, that just kind of gives it some texture. Change the, the apply mode back to normal. There, I really like that. Very cool, okay, looking back at our screenshot, the last thing that we have to add is a swirling red liquid in here. So I've got this paint texture, which doesn't look, we're gonna have to make some changes to this. Let's grab a color correct node, we'll connect this with another merge, we'll copy our text mask over, and let's change the color to red, a bit more contrasty, darken it a little bit. Let's change the, so because we have a white background, we're gonna use the darken blend mode. I'm gonna flip it and move it over here a little bit. Very cool. Okay, let's look back here and see how close we are. I think we could use a little bit more. Let's copy and paste this and drop it back in. We're just gonna move this one over this side a little bit. All right, let's just look back at these clips again to see how close we got. So I think we're pretty close. I think we could get a little bit more dirt and a little bit of some of these darker reds into there. I think we gotta work on this layer here. Let's do the opposite direction. Let's actually make it really small and then we can use a couple of these. Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste. And 
drop it back in here and let's move another copy down here. Let's flip this one so it's not looking too similar. Okay, I think we could do the same thing with this texture as well. I think this could work better smaller. Let's size this down. Oh yeah, way better, way better, okay. Same thing, let's copy, paste this layer. And let's add another one up here. Okay, and this one's gonna need a mask. We're just gonna mask out the top layer. And honestly, let's just look at the clip again here. I think we're getting really close. Okay, so let's go through the layers here so we can just recap what's all going on. We started with our base color, and then next we have this cracked earth, which we are using a hard light blending mode. Okay, and then the next we have this dirt splatter, and then we realize that actually making it smaller, it looks a lot better. So we made it smaller, we put one down on just the word titles, and then we copied all these over here, and we're doing another one, and this one is just up at the top here. So we're using a little rectangle, so you can grab this rectangle mask and just drag it down and plug it into the blue mask of your texture. And that's how we're just masking out just this top layer. If you didn't have the mask, you'd see it would just be covering the whole thing. Okay, and then as we move along, then we have this splatter, and also this worked better when it was smaller. So we've actually have it just down in this corner here. Same with this one, we have stamped over in this corner, and we chose to blend these just normal. We started with this straight black silhouette of this oil splatter, whatever it is, and we're using the fast noise to create this sort of texture here. And as we move along, the next one we have this liquid, and so we're using our color corrector to turn it red, and we're choosing the darkened blend mode because we have a white background here. And then we've also duplicated it, and this is just to add a little bit more on this side. So again, often making these textures a little bit smaller, but then maybe duplicating them and placing them in multiple locations. And that's it. All right, let's render this out and take a look at what we made. So I hope you had fun following along. This is honestly my favorite way to learn fusion is try to recreate motion graphics because you get to problem solve and sort of find unexpected solutions to things. So thank you so much for watching. I'd love to hear your comments on how I can make these videos better and I'll see you in the next one.